Hello guys. Hi Hello. Maureen Cannon, Hi. Susan Norton. Leah Jones, chicken curry on for dinner here and I'm starving. No, chicken coconut curry Coconut noodles. curry noodles. That's a noodle dish. If you're just joining us after the live, just scroll across, scroll along for a couple of minutes and we'll get into the um, Oh, I see, yeah. So if you're watching this not live, yeah. we're going to do a couple of minutes to say hello to people. Bernie B, hello. Connor, hello. Um, Hi, Margaret O'Brien, hello. 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 Steph Coleman, hello. Ele Ellen Jane Cook. Leah Hello. Jones, sounds did, lovely. Did anyone make the um, jam donut, bready donut things that we made know. on Wednesday? Are you going to make something that Are knocks you me over? Every time at the beginning, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Every bloody... single. Oh. Every sorry. single. Sorry, time. I don't think of that word as a swear word. Mark, even saying. Okay, okay. So sorry about that. I have to apologise for him on every single live we do, so I do apologise. Rosie Atkinson, very naughty hello. very naughty, you won't be getting any chocolate cake again. Where's a chocolate cake? Mm. Mm, you've hidden it. My mum loves a curry, Francois Camenzuli. I'm not too keen. I can't eat anything spicy. It irrit irritates my acid reflux. Well, you could do all of this without putting the curry powder. Maybe just put a little bit of cumin and turmeric, and then there won't be anything spicy in it. Yeah. Uh, just making rock cakes. Oh, oh. You're making the rock cakes while you're watching the how to cook. I've done, I've done a few sweet things, so I thought today I'd do something more savoury. Kids love coconut. Is it soup, Connor's asking? It's Well, it's kind of a soupy it's like noodles. It's a ramen thing. It's a bit like a ramen, but it's much more coconut. Because ramen, I just find it like a washing up bowl. It's like washing up blood. Can you say hello to Lauren Loops, Laura Loops Jaden? Hello, Laura Loops. No. Laura Loops, ah. Jade, no, don't make a big thing of it. Oh my God, but you make a huge thing of it if I do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, somebody's hungry already. Did you say hello to Jaden? Hi Jaden, how are you? To Laura Loops. Tracy Lindsay, yes, they are made and in our oven, her rock cakes. Oh God, I fancy some rock cakes now. Hello from Perth, Australia, Steph Johnston. Hello. Did anyone try the donut bread? Geraldine Mallon, hi from <laughs> Belfast. Sage Hi. Junkie. Hello. Are you a junkie of sage? That sounds such great fun. <laughs> um, I love the smell of sage in the morning dew. Mm. Can you use rice noodles? I'm using rice noodles. She's using rice noodles. Hey, just pausing this morning's live to watch this. You could even, hey. use, you could even use spaghetti if all you've got is spaghetti. Annika Ellis, we bike or to the you beach. you could just make this and just have it with rice. So. Katie Johnston, hello from Harston. Hello. Uh, Oliver Masterson. Hello, live from my car in Morrison's car park. God, you live the high life, don't you, Oliver Masterson? Oh, um, I not sure why I'm watching this one. I'm hungry. Can't eat until tomorrow, tired mummy. Maybe watch it later. Yeah, watch it later. Um, you guys had a busy morning, Lucy Rose. Uh, we have had a busy morning, actually. Um, hello from... Though I did manage to just watch just then. We've been meaning to do this for yonks, an episode of The Dark Crystal on Netflix with the girls. If you haven't watched it and you fancy a bit of 80s puppetry and escapism, it's a cracking good yarn. Right. Perfect for kids. Anyway, so I'm gonna spin you around. So from now on, we're into the recipe, guys. If you've joined us after the live now, it's just the recipe. Hello, everybody. So I'm starting off by heating up my wok and putting in a little bit of oil. It'd be nice if we had some coconut oil, but we haven't. So we just use, don't use, don't use um, olive oil. So welcome everybody. Speak up, because your mic sure you, is worse. Make sure you wash your hands. Make sure you've checked with your parents that you can cook. This is geared <clears> towards <throat> children, but it's just a, a recipe that I would make for myself for dinner tonight. In fact, this is what I'll be having for dinner. So it's open for everybody. That's why I'm not swearing, guys, because it's for children. <laughs> so we're going to... Bum, make... bum. Mark! Bum, bum. <laughs> Right, so... Poo! Mark, no, I mean it. <laughs> Knickers! Mark! <laughs> Stop it! Uh, okay. Right, so, it, so I'm going to make this lovely coconut soup because, well, grown-ups and kids like coconut, don't they? The only person who doesn't like coconut is this one. And my children. So whenever I make this, I'm the only one who eats it. Um, so it's going to be, we're going to start with it being a vegan dish and then those that want can add chicken. Okay, so this is a vegan dish that we can then add chicken. It's very, very tasty. So 
My oil is not too hot, because if it was too hot, we'd burn the garlic, and we don't want to burn the garlic. If you don't like garlic, you don't have to add garlic. Just leave it out, okay? So I'm going to put two in because I love garlic. Carrie Doherty. She's really not used to boys' humour. Poor Nadia. I'm not. Very naughty. Telling you under tens are saying worse than bum. Mark! Bum bum! Mark. It's got to stop. Bum 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 Mark. bum 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 because it's still bubbling, look, the, the, um, the oil is still hot enough. Now, there's two things here, because this isn't a Thai curry, this is kind of an Indian coconut curry. So if you've got some curry paste, use curry paste, but if not, you can just use curry powder. Okay. Okay? So if I was using curry powder, I'd probably use a teaspoonful. Okay. Um, but you can use as much as you like. Oh. So I'm going to put a, a tablespoonful of this in. But as I say, don't worry if you haven't got this. Actually, what might be nice is you could put a teaspoon of curry powder and a teaspoon of tomato puree here now, instead of this. Um, and of course, you can use mild curry powder or you can use hot curry powder. You could use Thai curry paste if you want. But if you don't like any spice at all, just add a bit of cumin and, and spice. Tired so, mummy, Mark. James said you're so so funny and silly, and he's seven. Mm, it's very naughty. Then. Right. So now Mark can tell you that we can now smell the spices because we've fried them. <laughs> Yum. Let me just. Yeah, I can smell. I think I can smell them. Don't tell me my sense of smell's gone. Okay. Right, so listen, you don't have to add this, but if you've got some, some fresh ginger would be nice. Turn it around, baby, you've got to keep it filming. So, uh, yeah, you don't need to put, you don't have to put ginger in, but if you want to, it's really nice. And it's good for us ginger. So we'll put that in. Sadie Jennings, my six and nine year old are now singing Bum Bum Poo. Oh, so no. funny. Jen McEwen, Fargo, great film to be watching. I, I feel almost it's a compliment that you've put that on pause to watch this. So I'm just going to take that big lump of ginger out. Can you use korma sauce? Katie yes, Johnston asking. Yes, korma paste, yes. Then add mm. the coconut in. Look, see how it's all watery? Look, yeah. there's all the gorgeous coconut cream. Oh, hello. Now, lots of recipes say to use um, stock with this. But I just like it to be pure coconut. I think it's nicer. Um, but you can if you want. If you're if you're wanting to maybe get more out of it, you could add you could add chicken stock. It'd be fine. Or Claire, vegetable stock if you're vegan or vegetarian. Claire LC says, "Can you give a shout out to my hubby Philippe? He is being a Mardi bum today." A <laughs> Mardi? Yeah. Philippe, come on, Philippe, come on. It's not going to help anyone if you're sad, is it? Come on. Cheer up. <laughs> Why don't you make your wife a nice, nice curried noodle um, soup? Yeah. So I'm going to put half a teaspoon of brown sugar. You can put any sugar, but I'm putting brown sugar because it's more like sort of cane sugar. Not cane sugar, you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. Hazel Kinvig Paul. Hi Mark, hi Nadia, it's dull here in Devon, but you're brightening my day no, anyway. Oh, that's it's nice. It's dull here as well today, but we have had so much nice weather, haven't we? Yeah. Right, so into that, I'm going to add, you can add whatever vegetables you want. I like carrots because they help me see in the dark. So I'm putting in carrots. <gasps> I'm putting in broccoli. They make your bum go bang. Mark! Stop it. And I'm putting in um, red pepper. So you notice how I've cut everything. Oh, except that one. I'm I've cut everything, kids, 
the same sort of size, and that is because we want everything to cook at the same time. Now, vegetables are much better for you if they're not really, really soft when you cook them. So the thing to do is you want to cook your vegetables so you can still see the colour. If you cook them too much and they're all looking kind of the same colour, then you've lost the vitamins that will make you stronger, make you happier, make you run faster. Those are all the things you need. And what's the song, Mark? How many veg a day? Six. One, counting. Three, four, five, veg a day. What's the song? Do any three, day? four, six, veg a day. One, two, three, veg a day. You've got to eat now some veg every, every day. You've what got to the eat song? the veg every... I'm just going to go and have a date. No! Mark, they're for a pick. They're not for you. Okay, so I'm just going to let that pick up. Five, five a day. You're supposed to get five a day of vegetables. So look, already there, we've got pepper, mm -hmm. we've got carrot, mm -hmm. we've got broccoli. Mm -hmm. So that's three there. And then also, I'm including garlic today as a vegetable. So look, we just want to cook it just until they've just gone just a bit soft. I still like a little bit of a crunch in them. So, uh, we've added the sugar. I'm going to add a splash of... Oh, what's that in the paper? You've just burnt it. Have I? Someone's just asking I've if I cook. Paper. I'd like to cook, and I keep saying to Nadia she should film me cooking, but... She can't film. It's not about whether I can cook or not. It's, she can't he film. Can't cook. She can't film. He can't cook. I can if I try. Anyone Look at can, that, guys. Anyone can cook, actually, if they try. Exactly. <laughs> What's going on over here? It's very uninteresting. I'm going to go back to me. Bum, bum, boo, boo, wee, wee. Right. Bum, bum, boo, wee, wee. So now, a really important thing is, is to try it. Mm. Mm. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Did anyone not see really, me really greasing important. and oiling a chicken? It's really, really important to try your food kids. But if you're trying with one spoon, then you need to get another spoon or wash the other spoon. You don't keep dipping your same spoon in, especially at the moment we're having to be so careful. No, mm. Sonia, we didn't see it. I don't know if we did see your letter on I'm, Insta. I'm going to put another pinch of sugar in. Give a little bit of sweetness. It's looking very colourful, babe. Oh, look at that. You know that your food is good for you when you see a rainbow. So, now I'm going to add my rice noodles that I just rinsed in some... Aren't they funny oh, looking they're, things? They're already made. They're they almost really look like um, squid. Pre-cooked. Oh, Thanks, look Elaine Graham. Look at that. So it's kind of soupy. It's soupy, and but it's not like a great big washing up bowl full of liquid, which I don't like. Kate Schuster, hello from New Jersey, USA. Hey, Kate Schuster. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. People asking how Loose Women went down? Oh, it went down really well. Loads of people watched it, loads of people loved it. So we'll have to wait and see. Right, so... So this is now about to become... Mm. That chicken is still fairly warm from earlier. We had a penny, so. Oh, hello. If you're using leftover chicken, mm -hmm. make sure you heat it up properly. Put it into the soup and heat it properly. But don't overcook it because you don't want it to get dry. But it's really, really important when you heat chicken or when you heat up anything that it's hot right in the middle, otherwise, it can give you an upset stomach. Oh, you've got lots of colour. Mm. I'm just going to get that. Looking yummy. Just, oh. So healthy. Big poo. Yep. Poo poo. I'm just going to wipe that off. Yeah. Making it look beautiful. Making it look beautiful. I like carrots. I want a few more carrots. Mmm, look at that. Doesn't that look cute? No, oh, it looks very pretty. A bit more sauce. Oh, it's creamy and coconutty and, and it's curry. Just a little bit spicy. You can make it a lot more spicy if you want. If you want, you could pile chicken on the top. You could put anything that you want to put that. I'm fancying vegetarian vegan today. People are asking for you to say bump. They are. 
Yeah, lots of young kids are asking if you'll say bum. Pardon? Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That sounds mm. good. Sounding good. I'm kind of loving cream. Oh, let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's like oh, a soup. Delicious. So it is a bit soupy. It's a bit soupy, but I didn't want to say ramen because it's a big bowl of And what sort of noodles are they quickly for people leaving? Rice noodles. Mmm. I've used rice noodles, but you can use whatever noodles you want. But I would just say cook them first and then drop them into your sauce. You could chuck mushrooms in it as well, right? Any vegetables at all that you want. If you want sweet corn cakes, have sweet corn peas, spinach, oh, yeah. anything. Good Absolutely stuff. Absolutely delicious. Okay, mm. well on that note, let's bid you all a farewell. Mm. I'm now going to go bum bum poo poo wee 